It's your time. Come in. Come on. I've got intel. Your next 48 hours. Come in, darling dears. As you kick your way into the next 48 hours, my big cat air signs, the planetary energies are Saturn has gone retrograde. Mm -hmm. Saturn, the planet of rules and regulations as well as rewards. Saturn also what masters time, darling dear, time, which is longer than a piece of rope. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about what? Honor as well as wisdom, darling dear. Saturn is all about the I achieve. Saturn is what? Retrograde in progressive air sign Aquarius. Aquarius, the 11th house. That rules friends and friendships, darling dears. Good God. Nearly left a nasty taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's urging you to do some serious introspective work, darling dears, over the next what is going to be up until the 23rd of October, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Over four weeks, nearly five weeks. It wants you to what? Be introspective about your work and how, how your future is going to shape out. Yes, darling. It's going to make you want to ask questions like, what do you want to invest in emotionally? Do the things in your life you've been focusing on lately. Deserve the attention you shower it. Shower it. Or is karma pointing you in a new direction? Because why? There's bad luck. And what bad times? Where you was focusing, darling dear. There's, we don't go back. We go forward. In the words of Abraham Lincoln, darling dear. Hold your gangster. Put in your career under reflective spotlight for the next four months. will help you come up with long-term goals and innovative solutions to your life's aspirations, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It will help you re reach the success you've dreamed of and you deserve. Mm. It just said advanced technology in what? Aquarius rules the house of technology. Some of you are going to be taking IT classes, darling dear. You have to understand how to what? Operate the mechanicals. Very important. You can't be waiting for someone to come and press a button for you. Mm -mm. Especially if it's with a skulldugger's finger. It will press it on wickedness and get you proper confused in your cranium. Right? Time to be what? The student as well as the teacher and the teacher and the student, darling dears. The 11th house, right, is also about what? Organisations and groups, darling dear. Some of you are going to be joining new groups, darling dear. Possibly to what? Groups of like-minded souls. Avoiding the unlucky and the unhappy over the next 48 hours. Matter of fact, go and watch that read, darling dear. The one what? About what? S never, been, never be loyal to those that disrespect you, darling dears. Loyalty must not be found. It's, it's what? A negative paradigm, which needs to be what? Beaten out of you. I don't mean literally. I mean what? Get in your cranium, darling dear. Ask for spiritual guidance from the Most High, calling your ancestral team to show you a better way. You're learning to what? Consort with the happy and the successful. Because you remember law five. If you hang with two bottom feeders, you guess who's going to be number three, blood? Hey, hey. Not the big cat. Mm -hmm. This is a time over the next four weeks where the main lesson, right, is very serious. It's inward. It's inward focus, darling. It's focusing on yourself, your goals, your aspirations and winning. Being willing to expand your mind in a new direction, darling dear, in the next 20, 24 to 48 hours will give you enlightenment and what? Another aspect to your new path into the unknown. This bump. Right. Mocha sipped. I got my fan cup because there's a lot of fucking ease in the air. As Phil Collins told us, this bump and posh clap. Good God, I'm getting it mixed up. They're mixing up what they're saying about you, darling dears. Mmm. Or just out and out talking when a gossip, telling out and out lies with a wicked tongue. Mm -hmm. Let's get your rune for the next 48 hours. Yes, baby. We've got manas. This is the fool. 
In tarot, darling dears, yes, baby, dummy bats, tongue wrestling, on your behalf, darling dear. But what? Mitch can't kill your vibe. This speaks about you, what? Taking a leap of faith. It also breathes into what? A new beginning. The fool is represented by air energy. You and your elements, darling dear, as well as mercury energy. No, sorry, Uranus energy. Excuse me, my symbol play. I was thinking of the magician with the bad house alchemist ways. Mm hmm. Uranus is going to what? Create freedoms for you, darling dears. And it also speaks about your progress. Why? Because you must be a rebel, darling dear. Once awakened, you can't go back to paradigms that no longer suit you. It also speaks about what? Sudden change. Uranus is also linked to um, the pineal gland, the gonads, and your blood system. Somebody needs to go and have a body work checkup, darling dear. Don't leave it too long. Because otherwise, I'll have to get my black frock out and my fashion altar. Mm -hmm. Go and have what? A health check out, darling dear. It also speaks about what? A new partner, whether romantic or friendship, right? Is coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Everyone must be interviewed. We've got our boosy badass working for us, darling dear. Eyes on everyone. No one gets to get at your energies or be in your hemisphere without being interviewed. And Google is your friend. Buff up your third eye. To that big, beautiful shine, darling, dear, pay attention to your intuition. It usually what shows up in your tummy when wickedness is afoot, darling, dear, around your solar plexus. Mm -hmm. The full energy, the eternal child, darling, dear, divine wants you to take a leap of faith. Be spontaneous once you've what found intel on a new, a new way, a new career, a new way of doing things, darling, dear. You've got to be a rebel. This is about you, what being a ground, sh a ground, a ground shaker. Innovation, darling dear. Take the leap of faith. Take a risk. Take a chance on yourself. You have what it takes. Mm -hmm. Let's see what other energies are around you. We're going to use the, I believe this is the distance, tra distance, distant traveler oracle deck. One card, please. Thank you. Infinite abundance, darling dear. And abundance comes in many levels, many ways. Abundance is pouring into your life, I told you. Saturn comes with rewards, darling dear, especially when you're diligent, when you are understand the assignment. I'm still what stuttering my words. I have a karmic watching, darling dear. Let me tell you something, karmic, I lock and bind you in whatever wickedness you did, done, did. You cannot what? Keep a big cat down, especially when they are being blessed in your face. Mm -hmm. Your hard work is paying off, darling dear. And it also speaks about this is three people. This is helping hands coming towards you. People on your level that work with you, darling dear. Not against you. Mm -hmm. Love it. New friendships, groups, darling dear. I hear um, um, something to do with water. Somebody may have joined a swimming team. But it's also what groups... I'm here in a sewing circle. You got a sewing circle? Okay. It talks about what? Go slow. Take your time, darling dear. Take your time to what? Assimilate all of the information so that you can what? Plan the best possible outcome for yourself. Law 29. Mm -hmm. This also reminds me of the Six of Swords making a clean getaway from what? A village idiot or village of idiots. Yeah. This is about using your common sense, darling dear. Being spiritually guided to move on, move slowly, one step at a time, darling dear. We've got to what? Walk before we can run. Fist bump. You also understand Psalms nine, Psalms um, 119. Whatever you went through, right, made you wiser than your enemies. Sure did. Mm-hmm. Base of your deck, sun card. Leo energy. This is a, a blessing, darling dear. It speaks about you having raised your vibration. Also, what? Raising the bar. Not allowing what? Past mistakes or negative thoughts to block your blessings. I told you. Saturn is casting cast in what? It's light in Aquarius. Causing you to what? Focus that internal spotlight to look at what you've been doing. Learning from your mistakes, taking the lesson and bossing it up. It also speaks about celebrations and parties. Some of you will be going, into, going to parties. Or I'm hearing... Parties or a meeting. 
but it's going to be a happy time. This is meeting like-minded souls. Sun card in the upright, your inner child is healing, darling dear. It also speaks about what a holiday. Someone's making their holiday, their holes, their vacay plans. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about the meeting of like-minded souls on said holiday, darling dear. Possibly taking holidays that are more um, guided around your passion. If you're a beach dweller, you're going to find beach dwellers, but you don't know what kind of background they come from. This is meeting new people, mm -hmm. as well as what? Your confidence in your self-esteem as well as your health being high. This also speaks about a pregnancy or a birth. Yeah. Let's see what else is going on. My big cat. Air signs. For the next 24 hours. What are you leading with? I said 24 when it's 48. So something significant is happening over the next 24 hours. What is it? Justice. Good God. A season of resolution, darling dear. No higher court than the truth. The Libra energy of it all. It speaks about what? You being freed from certain situations, possibly thinking. Mm -hmm. Or a paradigm. This is the end of um, a marriage. And it also speaks about the justice in getting what you truly deserve. If you have a court case, darling dear, expect it to go your way. This is a season of resolution for you, darling dears, over the next 24 hours. Yeah. I'm saying it's something something significant. And injustice is about to be what righted in your favor. This is also the card of karma. Mm -hmm. While you're in your season of abundance. Abundance comes in many forms. Could be knowledge, could be pentacles, could be what? Low friendship, a new business. Some of you are in the legal field. You may not be the solicitor, but guess what? You're the backbone of that, that company or organization. Because you get to the intel. This is also what? Moving away from the codependent. The what? The unlucky and the unhappy. This also speaks about what? Somebody blamed you in a work situation, darling dear. I'm hearing about your clocking in times. Whomsoever it was, they double, they double punched your time, darling dear, to cause this problem. But justice shall prevail. You're about to take the knives out of your back. Cut the cord and shine that light on them, darling dears. This is Skull Douglas for sure. This is also a return to your mental health, darling dear. After leaving negative circumstances behind, this is about you weighing up what? Where, how much energy you're going to be giving to certain situations going forward, especially if they've betrayed you in the past. Mm hmm. A back tabber. It also speaks about what? Somebody, a wedding being cancelled or, or annulled. Somebody's got some fresh inf information on the person that they're about to marry. This is an overindulger. This person will stab you over and over again if you walk down that dark path. This is somebody who is a, a secret drinker or taking some form of drugs. This person in overindulges in all of the what? Negative, low vibing pleasures, darling dears. This is getting into enlightenment. enlightenment. Mm, I heard something about a title. Title to land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Divine wants you to what? Fall back in certain situations. This is about what? Moderating your energy as well as monitoring your energy, right? Prioritizing your own life. Some of you are solo dolo or choosing to be solo dolo, like the boys or girls on the pole. Over the next 48 hours, darling dear, you realize you took a leap of faith with a fool and you're going to the courts to release yourself from a situation. One where you're what? Unequally yoked. Mm-hmm. Deciding to leave a situation. This is about mentally finding peace now. Yeah, what did I say? Releasing a burden. And as you release that burden, darling dear, karma is being delivered to somebody who is like the king of wands. This is in the reverse. A high commander Decepticon, a narc, sociopath. It could also be a manager, darling dear. This person. This person or people. Are looking at the fact that you are now silent in a situation you are no longer tongue wrestling you've got nothing to give the public again you're focusing on yourself this is why you're being gifted dharma darling dear dharma that's good karma darling dear because agent of karma you be 
you're releasing the burden of a king of wands. This is somebody who has unsatisfied eyes. Genitalia that has no chill or pause factor. This person is still looking at you, darling, dear. This person is thinking about the betrayals that they, they caused you. They are. They didn't think the situation would end to the pentacle. They didn't believe you'd leave the situation. And they're watching you, darling, dear. And they're not happy with what they're seeing. They're seeing you be curious, right? Have that what? Je ne sais quoi. That, that, that love of life, a new beginning. As the Empress. <laughs> Rock, stone. Whoa. 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 The Empress of everything embodying all of the queens. Yeah. Says the Most High. Good God. This is also about what? You take it and you, after indulgence, darling, you're coming out of a situation where there was abuse, emotional or mental, or even physical abuse. You took the time to what? Be curious about what you went through. You, you re-educated yourself in certain situations. This is what caused you to boss up, I told you. Infinite abundance. Abundance comes in many forms. Some of you are what? Sitting in the seat of your spirituality. You've got big boundaries now, darling, dear. But the caution is what? Not to go back to situations. Don't take the cup from anyone in the past. Leaving the past behind over the next 48 hours. You're going to be getting some kind of enlightenment, darling, dear. Around your finances. Or the finances of this king of wands, darling, dear. A situation that you never previously got any information. Not even from them, this person. Yeah, you got progress, darling, dear. Chariot, this could also be a new car. This is about a success. You are a, you're bad alone. Come through, send Shia. Send Shia. Send Shia. Good golly and gosh. Tongue twister. You got a lisping person or a stuttering person at your back. This person is the what? Codependent amongst the codependent. This is somebody who you've blocked. You gave them a full on block party, eh, darling dear. They'd love for you to unblock them. And what? Take that rusty cup of opium again, darling dear. You may not make it out this time. Listen, be careful who you eat and drink with, darling dear. Weigh up the energies that's being served over the next 48 hours. This also speaks about something coming towards you at a hot trot. Something that is being spiritually guided. Something that, that will what respect your boundaries, darling dear. In the land of the what? Blind. A new beginning. And it also speaks about jealousy. Jealousy of past energy. Somebody's even jealous of somebody. Because the Empress right next somebody's had surgery possibly possibly cosmetic surgery and it's created a lot of jealousy around the feeble-minded mm -hmm. those that spend their money on what good times instead of on themselves listen big cat if you're not born with it in this 21st century get your scrillers together and buy it darling dear sun card because that's the truth roof pinkies up look good naked eh it's creating a lot of uproar amongst the feeble-minded, especially this king of wands. The one that's getting the what? Two of these and one of those. What's that? Love and light. As you what? Disappear over the hemisphere. You haven't got the hairline for it. You realise? As you balanced out your life, a new beginning for you. One that is going to what? Require, require a lot of critical thinking and introspection. But you are going to get abundance on many levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've got no more emotion to give to the public, darling dear. This is also what? Mastering your emotions in situations. Making sure that situations that you've ended stay ended. It also speaks about those spying you on the World Wide Web. They're still watching, make the mouth breathers. Watching you bend the matrix. Mm -hmm. You've got the bad ass alchemist ways. This also again speaks about travel. Some of you are definitely planning a vacay. It's well deserved, darling dears. Some of you are going on what? Something like a sp a spiritual pilgrimage. Mm. I'm also hearing about hot yoga. Hot yoga. Someone from the past, darling dear, still wants to rear their ugly head, darling dear, like a fart lingering. Someone who talked to behind your back. I leave the adverts in for messages, darling dear. Someone who is still talking. They're feeling disappointed, disillusioned, like a dumbass, darling dear. From the Four of Cups to the Five of Cups in reverse. They didn't think you'd ice them out. Choose yourself in a situation. You became the fool and took a leap of faith and landed on the Empress. A new beginning for you, knowing your worth. And as I said, they're jealous. They're jealous. 
they want to be unblocked they would love to come back into your life based on the deck but you are nobody's fool new beginning for you mm -hmm. the deck and the rune is telling you darling dear don't be a dummy bat in this season why because what you are seeking is seeking you darling dear you found balance in your life this also speaks about soul family true soul mate divinely guided the caduceus is there for the balance that you bring into your life through this self-introspection over the next four months as Saturn is retrograding Mercury. Hangman, a new perspective, darling dear. No longer sacrificing to yourself to situations that are simply beneath you. This is all speaking of not being loyal to situations that are not loyal to you. And you know these streets can't be loyal, darling dear. New beginning for you, teamwork and partnerships. This is also someone getting in the spotlight, being recognised for their skills, a master craftsperson in their field, darling dear. This also speaks about loans, a new job, marriage, engagements, parties, all of the above, darling dear, coming towards you. But you need to understand things from a new perspective, knowing that you're being blessed over the next... 48 hours, darling dear, but this is also about knowing your worth and holding your gangster, being slow to speak and quick to listen. Because you will hear the jealous ones, darling dear, the ones that don't see it for you and don't want you to have it, whatever it is. You've already cut the cords, darling dear, don't recut them. I mean, don't go back and recut them. Yeah, always, darling dear, protect thyself. You have the right as a spiritual being, having an, a human experience. To claim dominion of yourself. The, whomsoever they are, they must hit the road. Just like Jack. They've got the T-Rex arms. Yeah. Abundance, darling. They're coming towards you. Right. Let's get my FP555 Oracle Intel. Yeah, you're being guided, darling. Dear. Pay attention to your spiritual downloads. Chariot card. Cancer energy. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about your determination and drive. And again, the Cancer Energy speaks about meeting of a new partner on a trip. It also speaks about your long-term goals being focused. You have to show strength in the face of what? Sputnik, the hillbilly investigators. They see you as strong. This is 18, moon energy. Bad vibes, bad credit, bad intention. Mm. And you're under a spotlight. Star card, a miracle, as well as healing, darling dear. And it also speaks about fame, darling dear. This is why they're watching. You're about to step into fame. This person is going backwards. We've got what? And our opportunist, a homosexual, likes the strength to pay one bill, the mobile bill, to keep in contact with the horde. Yeah, an opportunist, darling dear. Somebody's spying. They see that you've healed. You've poured away what no longer serves you and moving on. Right? Divine wants you to what? Continue to drop down. Drop down, darling dears. And get your eagle on. Pay close attention to your spiritual downloads, your intuition, darling dear. Because what? Bull swanky is afoot as you continue to be blessed. And you begin if you, my air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Any more messages? You get the whip and the, and the phoenix. Mm -hmm. Merchant of slander, darling dear. Abundance, feminine energy. You've got a, fem a feminine energy who is jealous of your, your abundance, what you've created for yourself, what you are creating for yourself. Continue to use the what? The regulations and the focus gifted you by Mars, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Because you are what? Being tasked to face your fears around your long-term goals, your relationships. Examine everything, darling dear, and continue to move because you're about to be blessed, right? Security, this is a what? A spiritual union. Divine partnership, protector and provider. Mm -hmm. Some of you, as I said, are about to go into union. Somebody's going to see you as the light, darling dear. And it's going to create a lot of investigations. This is someone that is what? Turning others away in order to get to you. Base of the deck. Research everyone that comes through, darling dear. No one gets immediate admittance to your what? In a sanctum. It's always the enemy within that cuts the deepest, darling dear. And you've already done the Matthew 10, 14. Dusted off your sandals and headed out. And you're not coming back, blood. Mm -hmm. And again, drop down and get your eagle on. Evaluate everything and everyone that comes towards you. Go slow so that no stone is left unturned. 
On that note, stay still talking about you behind your back. I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon. Please like, subscribe and share. Leave comments because you it can be a what? Survival kit for another big cat. Be my Obi-Wan Kenobi and hit a thumbs up. What? Hit the thumbs up button, right? Spread the word. And as I always say, don't get smoked. Don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.